Explain police, other detectives post Falls Police still on scene here trying to piece together what exactly happened and they're still taking a look at this scene. I'll step to the side of the camera here while my photographer zooms in. You'll see that large command center there. That's just been parked there all day. The police tape is still up. Again, detectives uh, analyzing every single bit of this scene. Now, this is at the intersection of Pine Grove and Canfield west of the Silver Lake Mall. The suspect has been identified as Ferris Al Samno, a 29 year old man. One, name, one neighbor told me that based on all the gunshots he heard, it sounded like more than one officer fired. What appeared to be a normally calm Coeur d'Alene neighborhood was interrupted by gunfire this morning. According to investigators, it was a little before 10 when cops were called to this intersection for a report of a disorderly man. They said he was being aggressive and was erratic. Most notably, police say the man was holding a knife and he didn't want to drop it. Police said he refused other commands. That prompted them to tase the suspect and fire beanbag rounds at him, but they weren't effective. Then at some point, cops shot and killed him. Now, at least one Kootenai County Sheriff's deputy was here too, but it's not clear if they fired their gun. One neighbor told me off camera that they heard anywhere from 10 to 15 gunshots, and based how quick they were, they suspect that more than one cop fired. At this point, it's not clear who the man was, but neighbors told us they'd seen a man who seemed out of place for the neighborhood walking around the street yesterday. He was just slowly walking south on Pine Grove, and today he was walking north on Pine Grove. If it was this guy, the cops were slowly following behind him as he was walking along. Police said nobody else was involved and neighbors aren't at risk, but that doesn't mean people here weren't caught off guard. No, it's a wonderful neighborhood. We walk here every day. No word at this hour on when this intersection might be reopened, but authorities are asking people to avoid this area. Meanwhile, coming up at 5, we'll be looking into the suspect's criminal history, and as it turns out, he has had interactions with law enforcement before. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Taylor Vito, Crime 2 News.